Welcome to Mercenary Field here in Chirac, Illinois, home of the Midway Mutants. Also home of the White Sox and the Flubs. Also home of the most state politicians in Jail Hall of Fame. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Midway Mutants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> everyone grim blitzrow with you on mfl game day hey uh bricks do you smell something burning ah uh, thanks for reminding me i left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up last time i left it there too long it came out like saganaki Opa! Uh -huh, it's freezing in here hey why don't you take a shampoo with uzo stick your head in the toaster oven that'll warm you up and it's first and ten hot hot one hot two that's a catch for a four-yard game. Second down and six. And that's a pick. And now the quarterback is cursing the butt, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Oh, boy, dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hitch off of enemies. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably having an assistant, though. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with, uh, no mustard? First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Hot. At this rate, the QB's gonna have more interceptions than completions. Oh, what a brutal hit! First and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Potato, three potato, four. The defense. 
Bruins just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down and seven. And the quarterback calls a sonic blaster. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. I just made me a commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Second down and ten. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite hot hot one hot two that ball just sliced through the defense like butter I wish they and the quarterback finds his man for the first down boom dead and down Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Second down and five. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can be careful. Try to pick up a ball when it's in the middle of a box. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. And it's first and ten. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and five. Crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> he just put that guy out of his misery and says, 
who's next? And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the night, man. Second down and two. First quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Second down and long. And with another pick, the QB said, Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe to toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. First and ten. Hot one. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck, Alex! First and ten. Hot one. Hot. And Lil Caps will give them a first down. I don't know if it is, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Hot. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long. Second and three. Like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And 
Giants, first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but yeah, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? I never looked that good dancing, and I have skin. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. And he picks up four on that pass and catch. Second down and six. Well, fee, five, five, five. I'm not finishing that joke. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. And he just, oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions than. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. Defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And it's 
First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And it's a six-yard gain on that catch. Second and three. Hot one, hot two. Three. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schlong Galaxy phone. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. The defense knocked a pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Man, what a hit that was. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalpost if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Don't you just 
just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up second and one. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Crunched. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. One, two. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Hmm, I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. First and goal. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Normally that would be a first down, but he had a whole lot of ground to make up. Second down in inches. Hot, hot one, hot two. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Yo, man, nobody can touch you when I fall. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and get the kicker's job in half? They just be caught. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Easy, give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect him. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and ten. I Hot one. Hot. Well, the quarterback said they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Hey, you 
see that little lady? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grimm? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He's probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Hey, man, you see that? That's right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And there's a huge gain, and this offense is rolling. Markman, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. you got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. you got to make that catch. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. I don't see a chance in hell in here. And it's first and ten. I'll say this, the offense is putting together a hell of a drop. Oh, mama, just call him Captain Crunch. Another one bites the dust. First and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. Second down and more than the QB would like. There is no huddle, so neither team can. They call a ginormous dirty trick. Oh, and the lineman bats the ball away with his meaty paw for an incomplete pass. Great play. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this, or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Yeah. When in a hurry, defense says enough of this BF and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. Yeah. 
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Bam! Oh, man, that's the end of his day. He might want to try hurling those traps next time. Here comes the defense. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> First down and one. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when... One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he just wrestles away. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my offseason. First down and nine. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting into defense. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It's good! The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when... Is he dead? Uh, nah, he's still moving. Crap. I had money on him biting the big one. If he don't die soon, my loan shark is going to kill me. First and ten. This is your brain. And bam, say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The ten. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to get some fun?
for an return. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. He did it. He scores. And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. <laughs> Chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. Unbelievable. He scores. This guy's a game breaker. Man, he returned that kickoff with an amazing run, leaving the kickoff team in the dust and puts up six on the board. <laughs> The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And that's a run for no gain. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Glenn, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would... Now, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same... Boom, to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Coincidentally, happens to be Brick's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably able to. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to 
to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk, texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson, he said? That unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you gotta pay attention. Yeah, law of the jungle, you know? And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo. The Midway Mutants have no mutants left on their roster and declare a surrender. It's a forfeit, folks. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't gonna make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were gonna kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...